Tin TV Zao Tu, Ule Dam Nan Zaten, Nan Dam Jamo, Mai Sibiga, Tin TV International Minister, Nan Gut Nem Kala Kwa Isi, Tui Sun Kala, U.S. Mi Tam Pi In Am Riyal Tam Bik Mi, Obama Care Asilaw Len, Affordable Care Act E, Tu La Tu, Tui Sun Ay, Tin TV A, Kan Cover Dingi, Tui Sun Ni, Interview Kan Tua Ding Mi Hi, Covering Kids and Families of Indiana, E, and WG Director, Paul Chaston, Mai Tan Tu Sun Ay, Kan Ni, Nan Zaten, Chan Pek In Sao Ding A, Kan Lao Sao Ma Si, Kan Lung Oi. You know, the bottom line is this law is working and will work into the future. People want the financial stability of health insurance, and we're going to keep on working to fix whatever problems come up in any startup, any launch of a project this big that has an impact on one-sixth of our economy. Um, whatever comes up, we're going to just fix it because we know that the ultimate goal, the ultimate aim, is to make sure that people have basic security and the foundation for the good health that they need. Lago, Corol, Asian Local, and Bustle, Moy, Asian Cruiser, and the Tumi Mountain Agency. เจ้าหนูอาเจนที่มาที่มาสักวันนี้กูมอยเอเชียของชาวสายมาสีน้องชุดตาสตัวเจ้าชินาลามิชิ Motor Chale, Mandlom in Momon is one freedom curse la hen motor omrange. If you want the best car for the best price, come down to Freedom Car Sales. Right, so Mr. Paul, can you tell us uh, what is you know your your names and what you are doing in this organization? Okay, well, my name is Paul Chase. All right, and I'm the uh, deputy director uh, for policy and administration mm -hmm. for an organization called Covering Kids and Families of Indiana. All right, uh, our organization uh, actually has we work through a number of coalitions mm -hmm. in the local areas. Uh, with people that are out there helping individuals enroll in health insurance coverage. All right. And we've been around for about 15 years now. Mm -hmm. um, we, have, uh, we, we help people enroll in Medicaid in mm -hmm. Indiana, mm -hmm. uh, in our Indiana Children's Health Insurance Program, mm -hmm. in the Healthy Indiana Plan, which mm -hmm. is a state-run program. All right. uh, and also now with Obamacare or mm -hmm. the Affordable Care Act, Okay. We're uh, helping people enroll in insurance products that are available through the marketplace. Okay, thank you so much. Sure. And let's talk about the the so-called Obama Care. Sure. So can you tell us can you tell us what are the ACA's major goals? Sure. Um, well, this is all about reforming our current system of health insurance. All so. Right. One of the major goals is to expand access to care mm -hmm. so that as many people as possible can have health insurance coverage. Mm -hmm. And with health insurance coverage means a way to pay for uh, vital health care services mm -hmm. that people might need. Right. Um, another uh, major goal of the Affordable Care Act is to um, emphasize prevention mm -hmm. instead of, you know, so that people have access to quality care before they get sick. All right. and also wellness so mm -hmm. that people can remain healthy and also to um, improve the quality of care mm -hmm. that people receive 
and certainly to work on trying to reduce the overall costs of our healthcare industry. All right. Thank you so much for the information. Sure. So what are the, what are the key uh, coverage provisions? Okay, well that includes um, maintaining our employer-based system of coverage and about 50% of the population gets their coverage through their employers now mm -hmm. and that will continue. Uh, it also though has a mandate so that if you're an American citizen or if you're lawfully present here in the United mm -hmm. States, it requires most people to have insurance coverage or pay a penalty mm -hmm. that's called the individual mandate. Mm -hmm. um, there are some exceptions to that. Okay. So not everybody is going to be penalized if they don't have insurance. Uh, it also requires uh, states, including Indiana, to offer insurance coverage in the marketplace. Okay. We can talk about the marketplace. Yeah. Uh, and then finally, um, allow states to expand their Medicaid programs mm -hmm. if they want to. Right. Indiana so far has chosen not to expand Medicaid, uh, which means for very low income people, mm -hmm. they may not have the same opportunities here as in other states that do expand their Medicaid programs. Okay, thank you so much for the information. Sure. So how does this reform our current healthcare system? Well, um, one of the major ways it does is that it eliminates um, the pre-existing condition exclusion. So. Mm -hmm. For many people that have health problems, whether it's diabetes, mm -hmm. cancer, heart disease, HIV, mm -hmm. um, many of those people now cannot get insurance. They're uninsurable because they have a, what's called a pre-existing condition. Oh, yeah. Well, the uh, Affordable Care Act, or Obamacare, eliminates the, um, ex that exclusion. So mm -hmm. insurance companies going forward okay. have to provide coverage regardless of what your medical condition is, and they cannot charge you more mm -hmm. based on that medical condition. All right. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's a major shift in terms of providing health insurance mm -hmm. because it's now, it's, it's open for anybody. Everybody can qualify. They mm -hmm. cannot be turned down uh, because of a health condition, um, and they can't be charged more because of that health condition. Okay. So that's a major reform that I think people need to be aware of. So that, um with this ACA, those HIV and other um, pre-existing uh, health insurance problem, they will be covered? They will be covered. So, um, pause. So what are the main way people will be impacted by um, ACA? Um, well, in terms of impacted, uh, right now, in, in ter the ACA's major th provisions will, again, maintain the employer-based system. So. Mm -hmm. About half of the people throughout the country um, will continue to get insurance through their job. Um, there'll be about a third of the population that will get coverage under a government program mm -hmm. like they do now, whether they're on Medicare because mm -hmm. they're over 65 or they're disabled, mm -hmm. um, or they're on Medicaid because they qualify for our state's Medicaid program. Yeah. Um, about, uh, it's estimated that about one in 10, at least across the country, mm -hmm will buy insurance in the private market, and mm -hmm. that includes buying it in the health insurance marketplace that mm -hmm. we've talked about. Mm -hmm. um, and then for the rest of the population, uh, there, there's a probably about 300,000 people in the state of Indiana mm -hmm. uh, that fall below 100% of the federal poverty level. And mm -hmm. I know it's a, that's a concept that I can you know, explain a little bit more. I have a chart actually with me mm -hmm. to give you some figures in terms of what that means, how much income that is. But if you fall below 100% of the federal poverty level mm -hmm. and you're not eligible for Medicaid now, mm -hmm. um, you may not be able to get coverage because it may be unaffordable, especially since our state is not expanding Medicaid. And mm -hmm. we're about one of 25 states that's not mm -hmm. expanding our Medicaid program. Okay. All right. So. Um, how people already already benefited from this a uh, Obamacare or ACA? Well, uh, it's even though you know people are hearing a lot about it now because mm -hmm. 2014 is a very important date. Mm -hmm. um, people need to start having health insurance coverage and enrolling by the end of March of this year in mm -hmm. order to have coverage um, starting in 2014. Um, but it's already been providing coverage because it's already. Um, 
required that insurance companies provide care mm -hmm. to children up to age 26. Okay. So every state, just about every state, has had to change their laws to accommodate children being kept mm -hmm. on their parents' policies up to age 26. Mm -hmm. um, it's also already um, providing free preventive care. Mm -hmm. Insurance carriers and Medicare, too, are required mm -hmm. to um, provide a number of services like cancer screenings, mm -hmm. vaccinations, mm -hmm. colonoscopies, mammograms for women, uh, requiring all those kinds of health-related services, preventive services, mm -hmm. to be covered free of charge. Mm -hmm. So that's a pretty major change that's already happened. Mm -hmm. um, also, for seniors on Medicare, mm -hmm. Uh, the Affordable Care Act has also already uh, moved to help close the donut hole. I don't know if people know about the donut hole, but it's, it's, the, um, it's the gap that people fall into when they have um, high prescription drug costs, mm -hmm. where after a certain t amount of money that's paid in, then they have to pay several thousand dollars out of pocket Mm -hmm. before their insurance company then will kick in and pay additional dollars. Okay. Well, it's closing that hole so that um, the insurance companies are re being required to pay more and more mm -hmm. of those expenses so that seniors pay less out of pocket. Okay. So there's a number of different ways that the Affordable Care Act has already been working here in, in our state and also throughout the country. Okay, thank yeah. you so much. And this, um, how will this impact to uh, non-citizens? Well, um, if you're lawfully present in the United States, mm -hmm. you're going to be able to access uh, the uh, Affordable Care Act um, provisions. You're going to be able to access the marketplace just like a, a U.S. citizen would. Mm -hmm. um, if you're an undocumented immigrant, then you're not going to be able to access uh, policies on the marketplace, mm -hmm. and, but you won't be penalized either. Uh, because you, you won't be able to get insurance. I mean, you might be able to find it outside of the Affordable Care Act's marketplace. Mm -hmm. um, and then there are al always the safety net providers where mm -hmm. um, some people now that don't have any other way to pay for yeah. it, they'll go to a community health center mm -hmm. or they'll go to a hospital if it's an emergency situation. Mm -hmm. um, and so those safety net providers will continue to be there mm -hmm. um, they're struggling because of some cuts that they're receiving mm -hmm. um, in some states, but um, they should be there to help individuals who can't find coverage any other way. Okay. So how about the undocumented uh, immigrants? So if you're, if you're an undocumented immigrant, you're, you're not eligible today for Medicaid mm -hmm. under our state if you're low income. Um, you're not going to be eligible for Medicaid going forward. It's really the, the Affordable Care Act really does not change the, mm -hmm. the status of health care coverage for undocumented, undocumented immigrants. immigrants. So you mentioned about uh, Marketplace several times. So yeah, can you tell us more about what is Marketplace? Sure. Well, the Marketplace is really um, it's a, it's a um, place where people can go. It's, a, it's, it's online or accessible through the telephone mm -hmm. um, where people can go and they can make much easier comparisons mm -hmm. uh, for insurance products. Insurance companies more and more are going to be competing mm -hmm. for your business. Yeah. Um, and it's a place where you can actually go and you'll be able to compare different policies, different mm -hmm. carriers and mm -hmm. their plans, um, apples to apples comparison. Mm -hmm. So you'll be able to put them side by side, mm -hmm. so to speak, so that you can actually see, well, this you know, this, this is what this policy offers, it's similar to this policy, the price may be different, mm -hmm. I can decide that I want to purchase this one because I like the price, mm -hmm. or maybe I like this one because it has the doctors in, mm -hmm. the, in, my, in the network that I access and that I want to see, mm -hmm. or the hospital in the area that I want to go to. So you should be able to make those comparisons. So Mr. Paul, where can I get help in order to get uh, coverage by this a particular Obamacare or ACA? Well, if you, um, if you want, you can access it right online from your computer at mm -hmm. home um, by going to www.healthcare.gov, mm -hmm. G-O-V. Okay. And um, you can go follow the prompts and sign up for coverage there. You can mm -hmm. go on there and you can actually look up the insurance coverage that's right mm -hmm. for you um, and, and fill out an application and get coverage that way. You can also call the toll-free line 1-800-318-2596. Mr. Paul, are there um, ethnically and culturally appropriate 
resources or material yes. that you know can help people. Yes, actually, on the IN or on the healthcare.gov, the mm -hmm. federal website, healthcare.gov, for the marketplace, there uh, are resources so you can find information in your language. Okay. Uh, and if you, and again, you can call the 800 number that mm -hmm. I gave you and you can be connected to somebody who actually can translate in your language, up to 150 oh, different languages. Okay. That you mentioned before. Sure, sure. All right, thank you so much for sure. giving us your precious time, My Mr. Pleasure. Paul. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right.